here in Rockford. Match one goes to Stephanie Johnson, 243-220 with seven strikes. Next up, she takes on the Hall of Famer, Kelly Kulik. One win for Kelly last year on tour in Albany. What a match. Match two will be here. Who's got the edge in your mind based on the conditions and the fact, well, Steph had one match already. It helps, right? Yes. Kelly's going to be left of her, though. So I would give the upper hand to Kelly simply because when you're further left of your opponent, you can manage transition much easier. It's what makes Kelly so dangerous. As she told us, great history for Kelly in this building. Match two on the right left lane for Stephanie. Good looking shot, 10 pin stands. What a historic bowling center. And special for both of the bowlers in this match, to be sure. Got a 10 pin. Good start, good start. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number three seed from Union, New Jersey, Kelly Kule. Hall of Famer, what an incredible career. Three seed here, and also some time as a tour rep. PBA 50 tour recently, which she told us last night she loved being a part of. Absolutely. She said it improved her listening and her communication skills. And watching bowling balls go down a lane for hours and hours a day can only help her. Kelly Kuehl is back yeah. on TV. Not the start she wanted. Float it. Four, eight. <laughs> Left lane for Kelly. Looking good. Good 10 pin, that's high place. She's your favorite to watch. She cool. is. <laughs> She's had so many years on Team USA for shots like this. It's effortless. She picks up on things just quicker than other people. Second frame for Stephanie. Looking yeah. good. The ball does all the right things. It gets to the right part of the lane. It's right in front of that six pin as it starts to change direction. Let's keep an eye on that. Left lane here for Johnson. Yeah! You can tell out of her hand that was going to crunch the one three pocket. See, those pins had no chance. No chance. None whatsoever. Maybe your best shot of the day. All 10 into the pit. Looking for a first title since that major in the Metroplex in 2018. Back to Kelly. Back to the strike. Starting the PWBA Tour was HQ for the tour for many years. Such a significant part of women's bowling. Great way to start our season here. Whoa. Up on the 10, 2, 8, I like 10, that one too. top lead. If it was a little bit slower, it may have recovered, or a little bit less around it, we wouldn't have seen a 2, 8, 10. Stephanie's now throwing the same ball on both lanes. So the first match, she was throwing a Zen Soul on the left lane and an RSTX2 on the right, and now she's throwing that RSTX2 on both lanes. Kelly's opening is the first of the day. Definitely trying to take okay. advantage, but... There. And what asymmetric bowling balls do is when they reach the perfect point, they start to go forward. And that's awesome when the back ends are, as we say, really crispy, where they want to hook a lot down lane. But that's starting to blend out a little bit now. So if I was Stephanie, I would be thinking about making a change to a symmetric bowling ball so that way it will finish more yeah. continuously yeah. through the pins instead of going forward down lane. Win probability looks good for Stephanie Johnson now, but we're not even to the break of match two. Johnson beat best friend Shannon O'Keefe in the first match, 243-220. Fifth frame works on a spare. Oh, good shot, Lincoln. Today, kids are watching and so excited. They've got their own bowling ball. They, they might be like mom and dad, uh, pros one day. Even the old guy, got to keep it up. I love social media. Me too, it's cool. Kelly Gulick on the right lane avoids a split, and it's just a 10 pin for That's a good one too. So I can see Kelly, she's so versatile, using her ball speed, slowing down a little bit to get the ball to finish the right way through the pin. 
Kelly's early memories. 2001, she talked about this last night, USBC Queens lost to Hall of Famer Carolyn Dorn Ballard, who won eight times that year. Liz Johnson won five times that year. Cara Honeychurch won four times. What a season for those great ballers. And wow, that's why right and just misses everything. One, two, four, ten. Lots to cover here, Sid. Can't do it. Ten pin stance, open frame. And Stephanie Johnson on the bench sees the lead balloon by 11 pins to 28. Halfway home, match two. Stephanie Johnson trying to climb the ladder, looking good against the Hall of Famer Kelly Kulik. Sorry about your shockers. It was an amazing it's rally okay. by Wyatt Walker. <laughs> Stephanie Johnson had a great guess. Some help on the seventh pin, big strike. Big moment, trying to take advantage of another Kulik open. And that's how you do it. Left lane for Stiff. Yeah! Looks good. It's good. Wow. 60 feet to success. Stephanie Johnson crushes the one three pocket. Said she tattooed it. And those pins just dust, shrapnel remaining after a great shot. Wow. She's going to stay with this IQ Tour Emerald. Time is now for Kelly Kulik. That's got to have a good ball reaction. Does not get what she wants to the 1-3 pocket. Yeah, the ball's just too weak. And it's a small core, clean cover. But what's awesome about the 2-4-8 is not only can she make the spare, but she could have tried that other ball to get a read on what, what's going on on these lanes. Looking to cover does just that. She talked to us last night, said about proving to herself and to the bowling world that she still has it. You know, the it factor here about a lot of sports. I mean, regardless of this result, she's got it, right? I mean, that doesn't change today. Yeah, I'm shaking my head in the booth because right. what does Kelly Kulik have to prove to any of us? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Right? She's a Hall of Famer. To me, she's a really great mentor. Kelly doesn't have anything to prove. I think she just wants to love bowling for herself again. She wants to remember why she throws a bowling ball. Right now, she loves watching other people like Junior Team and the PBA 50. She wants to do it for her. Known for so much in a great career. Legend. Great shot there. <laughs> but also just to see a woman go out and bowl great against the men is cool. Looking for the turkey. Almost had the 2-10 to deal with. And the four pin there. Almost a split for Stephanie. That down lane rangefinder would be on the other lane surface. Cool. Stephanie comes in a little high, 6'10", up, left lane. I know these shots are not Stephanie's best. They're more in front of her than she would like. However, in the last match against Shannon, those shots laid off, and they hit the pocket at least. Well, it was about a year ago we saw her in Portland, Maine, on the base side, win the King of the Lanes Empress Edition Championship. And it was a non-title event, but the place was packed. It was an awesome environment, and she just bowled. Fantastic. In her element. Stephanie loves to have some fun, so I feel like she bowled pretty good there all the time. Foundation frame for Kelly. A little high, oh. four pin, everything, but go down somehow. Stands. Shot. It's tough when you make a ball change like that. It's the first shot that she's thrown with. She ball change to a UC2. A stronger asymmetric. It's the first shot she had on the right lane with that ball. She made the move she thought she needed to make off of her emerald. Just wasn't quite right. But you heard her say it was a good shot. That's all she can do. Control what she can control. Good start to the season to make a show. And clearly, she still has it. <laughs> she was well. Seven pin there. That's right. I couldn't catch a shaker during the week either. <laughs> Every break in bowling that we get, it's not bad or good. There's always a reason. So I'm sure she'll. He's on the show, and Shannon knocked off by Stephanie Johnson. <laughs> 
as always, great to see the Hall of Famer on TV. Kelly Kelly Her message to us, never count me out. Still competing, still a good showing for Kelly, the Hall of Famer. But the moment belongs to Stephanie Johnson. She has knocked off a couple of bowling greats in O'Keefe and Kulik.